Hello folks. So tonight I am going after WR134. And it's an object I only found out about maybe less than a, a month ago. And it's a really cool object if I can do it right. And I was looking on Astrobin and it seems like everybody is doing it now. So I'm a little bit late to the party. But I think it's still going to be, be fun to see how this comes out. And I was going to record this intro, by the way, outside, but it's it's so noisy out there. And uh, I need one of those little microphones that will just pick up my voice and not the background. But anyway, um, let's see how my, my imaging is going. Okay, so I am in Sequence Generator Pro capturing HA, and this is WR134 wolf riot bubble i hope i said the wolf riot part right i should research more on um, how this was discovered but it's um definitely not something i have seen before until this year and it's a really cool looking object but very faint even in ha it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of data coming through in a single sub um this is uh ha i think i mentioned that already ha at unity gain 139.21. I'm doing four minute exposures. I'm going to capture at least seven hours, maybe more if I need to. The mean readout is 762. It should be a, a little bit lower, um, uh, but I, I think there's definitely some haze going on in the sky. Um, and let me take a look. I want to show you something here. Um, I was imaging this last night. And you can see today the star count here is 745, 714. It's actually improving with the last couple of subs. Oh, another one just came through, 738. But look at here. Last night, it, it 233, 334. You can see um, it, it after it hit um, 567, it dropped. And then it went even lower. And I looked at the timestamps. This was about 4.30 a.m. So this tool, the image history, is an excellent tool to see what's going on with your imaging right away. I can tell. I definitely had to have been hit with clouds or thick haze for my star count to drop like that. And I'm definitely going to be throwing this data away. But up here um, at the start of tonight, definitely back up, even though the skies um, right now I'm sort of imaging between clouds right now. So I, I hope I can stay between the clouds and get in some, some good data tonight. And you've, you've heard me talk about um, the longer you point at a target, um, you might hit a wall of diminishing returns where there's just no more detail to be found. I don't think that's the case with this one. This thing is faint and I'm gonna need lots of data to, to pull it through. Um, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to probably capture at least seven hours of each narrow band filter. And um, I think the moon is, is uh, I didn't look, but it's, it, the moon is definitely getting close to full. So I'm sticking with narrow band for now. And um, let, let me see here. I, I'm almost afraid to look at my, my guiding. Hey, 0.73. Not too shabby. I'll take that right now. So... Um, I don't see any big, uh, um, spikes in my, in my, um, um, my RA right now, Ooh, except for right there. That's probably about 0.3 arc seconds. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Um, and then my toad RMS just went back up to 0.8. But let's take a look at the stars on that last image. I, I like, I like the Pac-Man. I think I can live with this. And at 100%, um, these stars at 122%, these stars are pretty round and pretty pinpoint. So that, and that's why I'm not doing anything too drastic with my guiding right now. I can live with this. And I was really happy last time with how the Pac-Man nebula came out. So I hope this nebula turns out okay. We'll have to see. Okay, um, I'm just really starting this. So it's probably going to be a while before you see um, how this all turns out. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.
it's a really cool object, but um, I hope I can do it right. I'm going to capture it in narrowband. I might be late to the party, but I, I hope I, I can make this thing, I don't know. cool object that I only found out about maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, I, I, anyway, I'm going after uh, W134. Did I say that already?